caffeine and joint pain revelation. I think it's a revelation. I think it's a bit of a miracle. So recently I've changed up what I've been doing in the morning. Um, very often I have a, I start every morning with a pint of water and either apple cider vinegar or a squeeze of lemon juice in it because it's very good for us. But after that I have a large coffee, filtered coffee. I'm a self-confessed coffee snob, love my coffee, with soya milk normally. Well, because one of our nutritional approaches is now thankfully adopting intermittent fasting and intermittent fasting is something I quite enjoy doing. I know it's very, very effective. It's also really good for us as we go through midlife because of, uh, it helps boost our growth hormone as well as other things. I will talk about that in more de detail on another video, but that's sort of the background to this story. So anything over 15 calories will break your fast. So it meant that I probably couldn't have my soya milk in my coffee and I can't, I, I find black tea, I don't drink milk in tea, but black tea is too acidic in the morning, it makes me feel a bit nauseous and I'm not a great fan of black coffee. However, a while ago I found this thing called uh, tea chino. It's like a herbal coffee, no caffeine at all. So instead of just being decaffeinated, which is reduced caffeine, there is literally no caffeine in this at all. And it's quite, it tastes like coffee. It's, it's um, quite a sort of a herbally coffee flavor. It's really nice and it's very nice to drink black. There are sl slight flavor variations of it. I think the one I've got has more of a sort of a nutty and chocolate aftertaste. Um, I will list to Ticino below because um, I can't remember how it's spelled and it's a bit strange. <coughs> I got mine off Amazon. And so the last few days, I've just been drinking Ticino. It's a black coffee in the morning. And then I've been eating about sort of 11 o'clock to break my fast, which has worked really, really well. But one thing which I really didn't anticipate happening is the fact I haven't, or my, I, the joint pain, I normally get up in the morning or when I get up in the morning, I literally walk like the tin man before he's been oiled. It's just, uh, 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 and the movement eventually makes it worse. I'm sure it's a menopause related joint pain thing. And thankfully it should improve as menopause goes on. But since I've not been having my coffee in the morning, my joint pain has been significantly reduced. Now I know caffeine is, there are various studies out there that, um, have a link between rheumatoid arthritis, the benefits of caffeine and rheumatoid arthritis, which is an autoimmune arthritis. But there are also quite a few reports out there, including mine now, that reducing caffeine or cutting out caffeine actually improves your joint pain as part of midlife problems, menopausal problems. So I'm sticking to it for the next few days just to see if it continues. And then I'm actually going to go back to my ca coffee in the morning and see if it flares up the joint pain again. We'll keep you posted on that one. But I just wanted to include that because I, when I did my previous Menopause Monday on joint pain, so many of us are getting it. And I think because it's joints, oh, is it osteoarthritis? We're getting older. Is it just wear and tear? Doctors don't seem to have an awful lot of idea of what might be causing it. And for myself, it really is. It's quite a significant um, factor in my menopausal symptoms. Caffeine also sets off my hot flushes, definitely. As soon as I have a cup of coffee, it's just like, poof, and then it's gone. But definitely caffeine sets those off. So if you're struggling with hot flushes, just cut caffeine out. It will help a lot. But I just wanted to talk specifically to joint pain because... I have noticed a significant improvement. It's not gone completely, but it was just, I got up the other morning. It's just like, my goodness, that's really weird. I can move so much easier. And the only thing I have changed is not having caffeine in the morning. I'm still having soya milk. So it's not related to the soil because I have that on my oats. I have, um, I have like a late breakfast to break my fast. Um, and that always has soya milk on it. Um, so it's not the soya, it's the caffeine that's making that difference. So I thought I'd share that with you on my little excursion around the garden with the dogs, um, for this menopause Monday. I'd be interested to know if you cut caffeine out, give it a try. And if, um, click the link below for the tea chino, it'll take you to the Amazon page. Um, if you're not in the UK, it'll probably, you know, you'll do search for it on the, your, your local Amazon, um, a department but it's actually really really nice just have it black 
it's quite, I think it's quite good for you as well. I swear by it, so give it a try, let me know. And if you found this helpful, and if you know somebody else who's struggling with joint pain, please do share it with your friends and your family. And if you want to be kept abreast of my future Menopause Mondays, click the subscribe, subscribe, subscribe button, and, um, and you won't miss out on any of them. <laughs>